Hi, I'm Linda. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a marbleized glazed cookie for Valentine's Day or any occasion. I've made them for St. Patrick's Day. They were great for Easter eggs. It's all in the technique. So all we need is two cups of icing sugar and about two tablespoons of half and half or milk works just fine too. Adjust uh, your ratio as you see. You want it to be thick but not soup, but it does have to drip. So I've already made my sugar cookies. And you want them to be fairly thick, so you have something to hold on to, but not super thick. These are aiming to be about a quarter inch. So we need some food coloring. This happens to be from a neon set. So I'm just gonna put two drops of this color, and which is kind of a pink, and I will do two drops of fuchsia. So when you're mixing this up, you want to make sure, I use a fork all the time, you want to make sure that you get all the lumps out. Okay, so we have our blobs there, but that's not very exciting. So you just take your knife and go through it just a few times. You're not stirring, you're kind of swirling. So we've got something that looks interesting there. So we take our cookie, hold it carefully by the sides, hopefully that your fingers don't go too far in. Dip it down and bring it back up. And you're going to let it drip for a while. You can take a peek and see what's happening. But you want to let it more or less drip off. Give it a shake and then take a look. And yeah, I like that. So we'll put him done. Now this one is going to give me an entirely different look and that's okay. So I'm going to put it back in. And pull it off. Give it a shake. Get rid of some of those extra bits. And there we have this one. Now it seems to be sliding still so I can direct it to slide a little bit more. There we go. All right, so we'll do one more, and this time we'll swirl it and see what happens. So we put it in and give it a twist. Give it a shake. And it really didn't do much exciting, so I'm gonna let it drip down a bit here, changing it so that I get more color. There's a little too much white. So I've got a little too much white in that one. So I would just take my knife and swirl it just a little bit more to mix up the colors again. Now, when you take a look at these, you wanna make sure, if you care, that they don't have any big bubbles. Usually they don't if you were very gentle in your stirring, but if you do, you can just pop them with a toothpick. And there you have it. Some fancy marbleized heart cookies. Happy Valentine's Day.